Ever wondered how sci-fi plasma grenades could actually work? Can a simple capacitor really unleash that kind of raw energy? Let's dive into the science behind a hypothetical plasma grenade, but remember, this is for educational purposes only. Don't try building weapons at home. A capacitor is an energy storing component, kind of like a short-term battery. It charges quickly and can release energy in a powerful burst, exactly what you'd want in a plasma-based device. Capacitors store electrical energy in an electric field and discharge it almost instantly. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. It's basically ionized gas, superheated and supercharged. You can create plasma using high voltage arcs, and yes, capacitors can deliver that kind of voltage. To ionize air and create plasma, you need at least 30,000 volts per centimeter. So what would a plasma grenade powered by a capacitor hypothetically need? High voltage capacitor bank, triggering circuit, electrodes to discharge arcs, gas container or ambient air intake, controlled containment chamber, Use inert gases like argon or xenon to make the plasma more stable. When the trigger is activated, the capacitor bank discharges. Arcs leap between electrodes, instantly ionizing the surrounding gas into plasma. If released suddenly, boom! You get a burst of hot plasma and shock waves. This is the concept behind fictional plasma weapons in games like Halo or Mass Effect. In real life, it's incredibly dangerous and impractical as a portable weapon. High voltage capacitors can be deadly. Plasma can cause severe burns, blindness, and fire. This is all theoretical, and not something you should ever try to build. This content is for educational and sci-fi analysis purposes only. Do not attempt to create or replicate real-world plasma weapons. Plasma isn't just about weapons. It's used in plasma cutters, fusion research, space propulsion, and even medical sterilization. Capacitors also power things like camera flashes and defibrillators. Want more epic tech breakdowns like this? Smash that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment on your favorite sci-fi weapon.